Hello my friends, my name is Miss Cat with Comet Kids and today we are going to be doing a special drawing based on the very popular children's series books. We're going to be drawing the duckling gets a cookie. So the characters we're going to be drawing today are the pigeon and the duckling holding a chocolate chip cookie. So what you guys are going to need is a pencil, paper and something to color with. That's all you're going to need to do this class. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Before we do that, don't forget, if you like drawing videos like this, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Let's go ahead and get started. Teaching kids art through comics, cartoons, and books. Comic Kids! Okay, my friends, we are going to go ahead and start drawing our characters from the book, Duckling Gets a Cookie. We're going to do our pigeon over on the left side of our paper and our duckling over here on the right. And I want you to check out some of the colors we're going to be doing a little bit later. We've got blue, yellow, orange, and two different color browns. Let's go ahead and get started drawing our pigeon first. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to draw a circle, just like this. Very good, my friend. So I've got a little circle that is for his head. And you'll see I'm a little bit over to the left side of my paper, just a little bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and draw his eyeball as well. Now, the pigeon that this author and illustrator did has really big eyes. So let's do a big old eyeball in there and that's just drawing one other circle inside of a circle. So we're gonna go ahead and get in the middle of this other circle and we are gonna draw another one. That is his pupil. You see how little it is? So we got one, two, three circles, awesome. Let's go ahead and do his beak. So I'm gonna just kinda come over and do a little bit of an arch. And then I'm going to do a straight line at the bottom and connect it. That's the top part of his beak. Very good. And I wanna make it look like his mouth is a little bit open, like he's almost shouting. So I'm gonna open his mouth and draw a little line there. And then the bottom line is curved up. So there we have it, a squawking pigeon mouth. Very good, my friends. Let's give our pigeon his body. So he has kind of a long, thin neck. So I'm gonna do two lines right here that are parallel. Parallel means that the lines do not touch each other. They're never gonna touch. So we've got two parallel lines for his neck. And then we're gonna get into drawing his body. So his chest is gonna be a little bit round, and then this line over here, his back is gonna be at a diagonal and it's gonna be straight. Let's go ahead and do the back first. So come on over to the side of his neck, and we're gonna draw a little bit of a diagonal line, going at an angle, and connecting to his neck. That is his back. Very good, my friends. So we're gonna reach a point right here, where we now connect and create his chest and his body. So I'm going to start doing his chest right now. I'm gonna come over here, around, and then just connect it to this line we already drew. Very good, everyone. Awesome, I'm trying to see my hand a little bit better. There we go. Almost looks like an ice cream cone on its side. Awesome. All right, everyone, so that was actually pretty quick. We've got our pigeon, his neck, his body, and I want you to draw two lines that cut across his neck like this. Once again, these are called parallel lines. Very good, friends. That is the way the author and illustrator drew the pigeon. Awesome, let's go ahead and give him some wings. Now we're gonna show his first wing is kind of wagging a little bit. And what I mean by that, we're gonna show some lines that are showing movement and action. Let's get to this point right here where the chest and the neck kind of touch each other. And we're gonna draw another smaller diagonal line that goes up like that. So this is the beginning of part of his wing. And then we draw a second line that goes back to our character's body, right? Kind of, mine hits right kind of in the middle of the chest. Very good, everyone. Now the way we're gonna make it look like his wing, his kind of flapping and waving is really simple. We're just gonna do two little lines like this, and they curve a little. This is a great way to show that a character is moving or dancing or that there's some sort of action happening in your drawing. Let's come over here and draw Pigeon's other wings. We've got one wing here. This wing is 
we've got kind of a V shape. It's just gonna come right in here and we're gonna draw another V, just like that. That is his second wing. Very good, my friend. That wasn't too tough, was it? All right, awesome. And let's go ahead and get our pigeon, give him some legs. So the way that the author and illustrator drew it is just by two lines, it comes straight down. Once again, I'm gonna say that word we're learning today, parallel, okay? These lines are never gonna to touch each other. There we go, we've got two parallel lines. And watch what I'm doing just to draw his little pigeon feet. What did I do here? I did two little lines that it almost looks like the beginning of a triangle. So I left that one line extended and then went up and did two. There you have it. Here's his second foot. We have drawn the pigeon. Awesome job, friends. Okay, let's come on over here and we're gonna draw our little duckling. Now he's a little bit smaller than pigeon, so I want you guys to make sure that he's about this tall is how we're gonna end up making him. He also has a very big eye. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start drawing his head. So I'm gonna come right over here and I'm going to do a circle, but I'm not gonna do a full circle. I want you guys to watch what I'm doing. I'm gonna leave it open at the bottom. All right, my friends, here we go. I'm gonna come around. I'm gonna do a circle like this, but I'm not going to attach it. I'm leaving it open at the bottom right there. That is gonna be where his neck comes in. So I'm just gonna close it off just a little and leave that space. The next thing we're gonna do is just like with our pigeon, our duckling has a really big eye, but his pupil looks a little bit different. So I'm gonna go ahead and do another circle in here. Awesome. His eye is gonna be blue. The, the color of his eye is blue, the iris is blue. So we have drawn the eyeball, which is the white part. And let's go ahead and draw the iris. So let's do one other, this is a semicircle, a portion of a circle. And you see how it, it's on up over on this side? That's because he's looking over there. That's how we're gonna draw an eye that looks like it's looking in one direction. So you'll notice that this shape actually ended up kind of looking a little bit like a moon. So let's go ahead and draw a beak on our duckling. It's a little bit of a different shape than the pigeon. So we're gonna come over here to this side. And we're gonna draw a little line that kind of curves up a little. See that, how it curves? And then go back around to the body. And this is going to be the beginning of his beak. Wonderful. Now we're gonna do the second part of his mouth, the beak, but it's gonna be a little bit smaller than this one. And it's going to not be facing up. So I'm just gonna do a little tiny beak right there, just like that. Very good, everyone. Okay, friends, let's get started drawing our character's body. So just like we have a neck like this, two parallel lines, we're gonna do two smaller parallel lines here for our duckling. Very good. That's all we have to do. And then we are going to do his body. His body is actually gonna start here, go around, and we're going to do a little bit of a smaller semicircle than we did for his head. So watch what I mean. I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna do a little bit, a semicircle, a portion of a circle. There we go, that is his body. Very good, everyone. Now our little duckling has much smaller wings than our pigeon. So I'm gonna come up to where the neck and the body kind of join each other and I'm going to do one of his wings like this, a little line that comes out. And I can do the same thing on this side, a little line that comes out, very good. And then I'm going to finish the bottom of the wings by doing a curved line, like that. So that's wing number one on our duckling. And we're gonna come to this side and do wing number two over here. Excellent. All right, my friends, we are gonna go ahead and give our little duckling some feet. So just like we did with the pigeon, we're gonna do two little parallel lines, but they are smaller than our pigeon's legs because our whole little character is smaller, right? And then the way that we're gonna draw his feet are kind of like this teardrop shape. So I'm just gonna come up and over. They're a little bit big. He is so cute because he's a duck and he needs to be able to flap through the water with those big old feet of his, right? And I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Very good. When I do the same things on both sides and it looks the same, it is called symmetrical. 
Awesome. Now the last thing we're gonna do is we are going to give our duckling this big old chocolate chip cookie over here. So you should have some space between your duckling and the end of his and the end of your paper. And we're gonna go ahead and draw a cookie there. Now we want the cookie to be actually, you know, kind of big because it's a bird and he's little. So I'm gonna draw a round cookie over here, just like that. And you see how it's kind of touching his wing. So I just did a big circle that touches his wing like that. Awesome. And I'm just gonna draw some yummy little chocolate chips in there. Now, our illustrator did some kind of ovals. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna do a couple ovals, little chocolate chips, very good. Awesome. And the next thing I'm gonna do is the shape of an X. So this might be a little bit tricky because I'm gonna do it in bubble letters, but you guys can color this like this later. I am doing a little X. Do you see what that looks like? Very good. If it's tricky, just write the letter X and then you can color it later. So I'm doing a little bubble X for our cookie. Very good. The last thing I'm gonna do on my drawing, after I've drawn my little chocolate chips and all my little yummy things that are in this cookie, you know, I decided I, I love chocolate chips. I'm gonna do another one right up there. I wanna draw some little crumbs right at the bottom here. So I'm gonna find right under my cookie, I'm gonna draw some little ovals in the same place where his feet are. You notice that my character's feet are, have, are on an invisible line right here. I'm gonna draw some little cookie crumbs Tiny little ovals and some are bigger, so you'll see some of mine are big and some are little, right on that same invisible line. And there we have it, a crumbly cookie, an adorable duckling, and a pigeon that wants a cookie. I had so much fun drawing with you guys. We're gonna go ahead and start coloring. I'm gonna color kind of quickly, but these are the colors you can go ahead and get out to color our characters from Duckling Gets a Cookie. Okay, my friends, I hope you guys had fun drawing with me our pigeon and duckling from the book by Mo Willems, Duckling Gets a Cookie. These characters are so cute and I just love this book series. I'm sure you guys did an amazing job. I'll see you real soon. Comic Kids is a nonprofit helping children in the community learn art through comics, cartoons, and books. To learn more, see our website at comickids.org and follow us on Instagram. For more videos like these, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.